Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at PHP arrays, trying to understand how we can make use of array in our work and trying to understand the difference between arrays and variables. I think these are the two things we'll try to point out in this video tutorial. So let's dive in. From where we stop, I think we're going to open our working folder. And the last place, like I told you, we will know that you have to go to htdocs. So we are trying to run a PHP file. You need to understand that you we'll have to go to what our local disk. Depending on where you install yours, inside your local drive, you will see a file called ZAMP. If you are using ZAMP, you see a folder called ZAMP. Sorry, not a file. So you need to open it. Double click to open. Inside, you will see another folder called htdocs double click and open it once it's open search for the working file currently from the last tutorial we have a file called new.h.php so that's where we have been doing most of our work this time around i want to open it using vs code so i can just right click and open so at the same time i will have, I have to go to look for a browser to run our code to see what we are doing so i can simply open my chrome that's it, my Chrome is on. Once it's on, all I need to do is to type localhost. Don't forget. Sorry. Localhost slash new. That's the current file I'm working on. So depending on what you have created in yours. So once I open, nothing is showing because we don't have anything echoing on the screen. So this is our previous works, previous projects. We commented off most of the things we are doing. So today we are looking at array. That wasting of our time. I think I'm gonna start in a fresh work. So I'll delete every other thing we are doing. So if we look, we find that we have our opening and closing PHP tags, which means that we are writing PHP. Anything written inside it is PHP code. We can test it out to know if it's working by echoing to echo something on the screen. So I can say echo hello world. So we can do a simple test. Sorry. I save. I go back to my browser, click, I can comfortably see hello world. So that means it's working. Good. So now, another important thing we need to open this time around is like we always do W3 school. W3 school. That's always one material we like consulting this tutorial. So we'll go, we'll click on it. We'll see a link called arrays since we want to look at PHP arrays. So these are important things I would like. After this tutorial, please, I will be happy if you can take time go through everything we have in this array i think after this array you can see some drop down there in which we have a index array associated multi-dimensional array so create an array in php in php the array function is used to create an array so we should take notes of this array function which is mostly used to create array even though for five points there i think there is a new way they brought out but it's almost the same with what we are doing so whenever we are working with array, I think there are some important things. Okay, before we go to that, we have three types of array from what they are telling us. We have these indexed arrays, we have associative arrays, we have multi-dimensional arrays. So we try to understand these three uh, types of arrays as we go on. First of all, we need to know why are we using array and why what is so special for time this array. That's one thing I think we should point out now. And good explanation I can give to this. Array is simply like a variable. It's just a variable because it helps us to hold some values. So the difference is just that when we talk of normal variable like the variable name, which is a host, a farm's val, which is my name, farm's val, you find that this variable is just holding a single value just one information in a string that's what it can hold we cannot pass additional things to this 
if you want to pass something like age you want to first to go and create variable age which is equals to maybe 23. so we found that we don't have two variables so there is no way we can pass name and pass age at the same time that's the problem we we'll have so we, if we wish to have another thing like variable food we still find out that we are going to do what create something like this so in order to achieve having these three values we have to create three variables so that's the issue so what if is it possible we can have one variable a kind of holding all these things at the same time so anyone we need we can bring it out from that place that's where array comes in so it helps us to hold multi values for us so good example of array like we know from the first one we saw which is indexed array that's the one we want to look into now once we are talking of indexed array let me copy it out just and comment off like from what i have taught you guys once you put slash double slash in front of anything it's commented off so have this indexed array how does it work so just like what we know before we can just we can create a variable called items we post to instead of us passing a string immediately all we need to do is we we'll start with a keyword called array we open our brackets so inside this place we can now start listing whatever we want like these items we can uh, we can choose any item we want i can mention something like water i can mention something like water comma depending on number of item i want i can have something like tea i can have something like milk i can have another thing like bread I can have another one like what again sugar you find out that my tea making stuff i've achieved having a complete uh tea let me convert this one to milo i love milo so this thing now gives me a tea so we have a variable called t which is holding all this for us to make use of don't forget to close please make sure that you always add this closing in order to avoid any error so comfortably i can comment this off or i can change whatever i have now like what we did in the previous section we can try to see what uh, data type this thing is by var underscore dump we open our brackets i will pass this t variable t which is what uh, the array we created now if we go back to our browser and refresh what is happening is telling us that this is an array and it contains five items in it in which you have think water one milo two milk three bread four sugar five so we have five of them but once we want to start bringing out anything from what we can see, remember that I have programs like PHP, our number starts from zero. That's what you must note. In programming and even in mathematics and all this, number starts from zero. That's why you can even see it from here. So mean that once we want to refer to anyone, it's not the way I counted it before, one, two, three. And that, that I know that the first item is zero. It's on the position of number zero, which is water. The second item is the position of number one, which is Milo. The third item is on the position of number two, which is Milk. The fourth item is position of number three. So please, the same goes to the fifth, which is on fourth position. So at the same time, that means now if we wish to bring out anything, we can do our simple equal variable T. So when we are talking of this T, we cannot just run this. If we run this, I think it will show us an error. Then we say echo t. The fact that is complaining, array to string conversion. So you couldn't convert it to a string. It's just in an array. So we need to point out which one do we need 
from this place in which i can use this uh, block braces to bring out whatever you wish to now from the position of what i told you initially mean that this one the first one is on uh, which is the zero position this one is number one this one is two this one is three so if we wish to bring out the one on position zero and just type zero inside here we have our t with this block inside of it to have zero mind you you need to put it in a quote don't forget i save so once we check what we have we find that we are seeing water which is good and fine so as you may want to bring out which other thing maybe the one on position one you can simply do what type one save zero one this is which is milo if we check we are seeing milo if you can see the screen very well i believe you can see it now so we have our milo showing on the screen comfortably we can bring out more than one by using what we have learned which is concatenation so i can add a period i copy and can paste sometimes that i want to bring out milo this time around at the same time i want to bring out maybe the last one which is zero one two three four sugar so position four we save now we have saved we can check and see what is happening we have our milo and we have our what sugar so it's bringing them out sometimes we can make a simple sentence <clears throat> so i can do start with a strength and add my period because once you want to join in to make use of period i can say i want to make Tea. Or to make it tea. I want to drink tea. Come on. I need. So I can start listing what I need. So I have I need tea. If you notice what happened in the last that we have there are boots that there is no space between milo and t <clears throat> so in order to achieve this space what do we do we come between this mirror we create a, a strength we now add period so we find that each one there is a strength here and it, before i added this variable bringing out an array for us that is picking out something from array i added the period at the end of what i have i have another period strand that string is coming in i have period so whenever you are joining variable string variable string make sure you are making use of all this period before you use any other one if you are using string at the end of that string period before you can use variable period before you can use string depending on what you are doing so now in order to achieve control z the space uh, the spacing that means i need to give space here take notes that the essence of this string i created just to provide a space between this first one which is water okay milo which is this one position one and this one on position four which is sugar so i just created space between them if i save and check my code i can comfortably see what i want to drink tea i need milo maybe you wish to put comma milo comma sugar i can put dots to continue with another string i give space first so that it doesn't jam with this so i can continue with my statement with a little a little of i want to add milk this time so i'm done with what i want to write in this string i can now come outside it and put a dot and now think of any other name now it's on one line want to make it so that we can see everything at the same time so we can toggle wrap so we can break it down to the next line now i want to bring out what a little of milk so that's what i want to add so we have to add I added this period question i bring my t with this block i can now check the position of whatever i want to this one is zero one two and i want to bring out milk 
can put this single quote if you want to use double it's your choice which is in position two i can save if you check what is happening in our browser what are you seeing i want to drink tea i need milo sugar with a little of milk which is good so this is how we can make use of panda now we have unlike initial thing we have your multiple variables in one variable we're now picking out whatever we need out of it so this one is like we say in dest in dest arrays mean that we are using these numbers we index them with their numbers we know the position of what they are that's why we call them in dest arrays so a guide is being guided by the number of uh, the position that's it. The position shows the number in which one is position zero, position one, two. So you take note that's in this way. So we we'll go back to check which other array are we talking of. We have another one called associate. So mean that it has something associated uh, it's been linked to. So for you to call it, there is a it has a kind of a key value pairs, a name is being linked to. Mention my uh, uh, my linked name. Or my key, I'll get tell you my value. Mention the key, I'll tell you the value. So that's kind of associated with something. That's what we are trying to point out. So we can comfortably do what go back. Ah, why am I breaking it? I can copy what I have here associated with array. That's what we want to okay. Arrays. We want to talk about I come down using my comments, you can add it. This echo. Maybe I will comment it off to so find that it's also off too. So whenever we're talking of this associative array, I can now do something like we are creating a person, a variable called person, which is equals to now it's an array. We can open bracket. So now we want to create it. We need to be pointing the keys when we say keys that's the way it works that guides us on whatever we want to bring out so now i can say take a name you are a person i want you to take your name and the name i'm giving to you is what a farms i'm giving you a farms bar. so good and give him another thing in which i can say take each so you find that I'm pointing out there are two things involved in this. There is a key and there is a value. Age I can, if I want, I put it in a string. If I don't want, I can just give it, put it in a, like a number. Let it be a simple number. So I can give another thing in which I like food a lot. I can put add my food, lest I forget. So I'm now telling that you need to take note of this. And now, when I say food, I can say something like what? For now, let me just drink tea. Let me just take a tea. I need tea. So, this is a good example of associative array. I can now save. When I say what are we checking, we can try to print out this on the uh, screen. First of all, let's back down and see what we are having. Bar underscore top. I can pass the person I created to see put your end semicolon. <clears throat> we check out what are we seeing on the screen. So it's telling us that it has three arrays. It has name, it has a, a, a name which is a fans bar, it has age which is what 21, which is an integer. You can see it's telling us the data type. The first one name is string next one h which is what maybe we'll add another one more to it <coughs> so after this t you can see what we are creating we have name which is a fast valve age which is 21 food which is t i can have this is maybe how how do which I'm forgetting to add it in a string. Don't make that mistake. It's held. I can now point and say, I want to use Boolean this time around, which is true. 
So that's what I wanted to achieve. So we can see different data types being used in an array. It's possible you can achieve it that same way. So when I refresh, we are seeing what is saying. It's saying us that we we'll, so we'll have four items in this array. We we'll have a string, which is my name, container comes val. We we'll have age, which is an integer, is containing 21. We we'll have food, which is also a string, and is containing three characters, letters in it, which is what? T. We we'll have another one, is healthy, which is boolean, containing true. So all these things are simple arrays that you can think of. Simple, uh, what they call it? From what we are seeing, associative arrays. So now we can print out any information we need from this using the same example we have above, just similar to this. First of all, we can start extracting individual information from it. We can just say it. the same way we did the last one, person. At the same time, we put this block statement in it. Now we want to bring out, instead of us to be bringing out the position like we did in the initial indexed array of position 0, position 1, position 2, position 3, kind of thing. Position 1, position 2, and all this. So what we do now, since we have a key, it's telling us that there is a key in all of them, holding a value. Key value pairs. So that's what we normally call them. This is the key. This is the value. So key value pairs. We can simply mention the name and end of any of these ones. I can say I have a name or I have something called in this person. This person has a name. So please bring out the name. If we save and check, we find that we are seeing what farms about good and fine. We can as well print out age by coming. This person has an age. You can change it to age. When we check what we are having, what are you seeing? You can comfortably see what? 21. So good and fine. Meaning that we can make use of anything we want. We can as well concatenate. Like I can now make a simple sentence by saying something of this nature. My name is... I have person dot name i can concatenate okay i missed it here don't forget that period sign i gave a space so that it would, doesn't join up join these two together i come and continue from what you see i create another string i give it i i provide a space first of all between this place now i can start continue my name is afans i can put Okay, first of all, I can put comma before giving space. You can now say, I am how many years old? Dot. And now bring back my person so you can get me my age. So this person should be able to pick this age for me. Age. So I am this then to continue the statement i put on that period my string is back don't forget i am i give space first of all that's why it's coming this side so my name is this i am this yes oh full stop i save so when we go back to check what we have done so far we'll find out that we are getting my name is Afan Sabah. I am 21 years old. So one good thing about this is, assuming tomorrow there is a mistake, we want to change this thing. So of 21, I want to put 25. Save. If we come back and check our code, what is happening? My name is this, I'm 25. So you don't need to go to that code and start to this line of statement and start changing it. So we can change the name from Afan's route. Maybe you want to add something like, what are we going to add now? My name is, I don't even know any name, I can just put simple Nora. My name is Nora. It doesn't have any sound, I'm just use something of this nature. For fresh open that we are seeing what my name is Nora and I'm 25 years old. So please take note of this. That's associate. Uh, we are talking of okay, associative arrays. 
so that's how it works it's associated to key value so any, any value we have is associated to a key any value we are talking of is associated to a particular key that we use to assess it so that's for associative now we have multi-dimensional so when we take talk of this multi that means that we can contain different kinds of array in one particular array different kinds of array in one particular word array i can simply do what comment of this echo like i've taught you guys I can come down going back to our code we are now on this multi-dimensional arrays so arrays containing one or more arrays that's what we are looking at one or more arrays that's multi-dimensional so in order to practicalize and see what is happening <coughs> can just paste by commenting so we know what we are talking about we can start by creating what will i call it now okay same person or hmm, okay i'm picking this time around uh person one so this under variable call person one you can use it if you want when we are uh, explaining variable you can make use of words and uh, numbers and integer would i call it this integer or what this are this is a number so you can make use of character and number whenever you are creating your variable in that please ensure that you are not starting with number on one person no please take note of that it was so i think another way of this array another alternative to this what i have above here let me check something first let's see what is happening if i should remove this and comment off this save come back fresh it's good so i think uh, in modern php now i find that sometimes you don't need to start writing array like what i did here what i have initial is array that say the same thing so it's your choice i have it in brackets so i wrote array first if i now start positioning all these things i have in it take is associated to this whenever you are running on this associative array take note of what i'm saying so at the same time if you wish you can do what add just a block statement clean up whatever you want so this a uh, block character removing this array will still give you the same thing you can try it out that's what i did now so i just removed that array with brackets i just added this block in it i save if I check, I'm still getting my answer good and fine. There is no error in it. So that's what I checked out now. So back to where we stopped by commenting this thing off. And at the same time, we'll comment our line 18 to continue with our multi-dimensional array. So I can have a simple array, like we already know. In this array, what do what and what am I looking for? At this point, I can have my what will I call it? I like okay. Let me drink. I'm tasty first, so I need a water. And after water, I think I need chicken. I need chicken. So after eating chicken, what else do I need? Uh huh. Uh huh. I will need something like what ice cream. Ice. Cream. So after that ice cream, what else do I think I will need? So what I'm doing now is simply what in test array. If you can see, if you if you followed us up in the last thing we did above there. So you should understand this is in this mean that simply i can bring out any of these things using what the index position i can just echo it adding position two so two what do you think two will give us from what we have here zero one two ice cream so when we save and check 
you find that we are seeing sorry we are seeing what ice cream good fine so now we can even come again instead of i continue with this index we can say that we have another want to have another array inside of this place and this array now we are talking uh, want to talk of what what i love reading materials i love a lot which is accounting books I love reading accounting because I'm an accountant. At the same time, I love uh, JavaScript. I love JavaScript. I'm forgetting to add it. Like I said. So I love JavaScript. That's what you are seeing. And that thing I love so much is what? Think. I love React. React JS. That's the front end framework I love so much. <clears throat> so this now is a kind of multi-dimensional array. It's not just a simple array. Now we have array inside an array. So as you will want to assess a uh, chicken, that means zero. This one is zero position. This is one position. Okay position one and save and check <clears throat> what am i seeing i'm seeing checking now i want to assess what will i call it what i have javascript that means i need to come from zero position zero one two three so from this after this command we find out we are on third position and inside on this third position we have another array so first of all we'll go to the third position since we have another array in it, that means we have to create this block code. We can now decide which one do we want to assess from this position. We have the one of, we have this, we have this, we have this, which is 0, 1, 2. I can simply do what? Point out. I want to assess the one on position 1, which is JavaScript. My best. I can now do what? Click. I can see JavaScript. Yes! So it's going well, it's going well, it's going well, it's going well. So that's two things I wanted to point out. This junction. So at the same time, in as much as we have this, I would like to try out something here. So this is one way of this uh, multi-dimensional array. So now we have it. I can put my comma or let me clean it up so that we don't make it complex. Oh, should I count? Okay, let me now make it complex for you guys. So now, as you may have another thing like this, let's know if it will work. Maybe book. Like I said, you can have what I call what. I will need an auditing. Auditing book. Auditing books. That's what I'm looking for. I can copy this for some you can see myself making unnecessary mistake. So I have key value pair now, which is we are talking about associative arrays. So inside this our normal indexed array, we are having what associative it. So all these are part of multi-dimension. We can have another thing of what we like call it food, depending on your choice. I can as well have food or age. And I will do what? Simply pass my 23 kind of save. So at this point now, we are not having array in an array, in array inside an array. So we can take away one. What I wish to assess now is books. Let me know if I can assess it by simply adding our quotes. And I will type books. We should have auditing books or books. So if I'm using books here, make sure that it's books because we are looking at the key that what we want to assess at this point. If I should go back to my code, ah, uh, since that's unexpected on line 18. On line 18. So we can guess what the error is since it says it's on line 18. 
who can guess, who can guess, who can guess. It's simple. Just that what I told you, make use of this. When you are trying to give value pairs, here we are using as if we are writing JavaScript. That's the mistake I made. I was busy writing kind of JavaScript here. So please, don't make that mistake. Now I've converted it back to this key value pairs. I can now save. If I go back and refresh, you can comfortably see what auditing books. So we can point to any of this thing we want. If we are trying to add this index, make use of numbers. Now we have what associative in it. We can as well pass if we wish all this uh, another maybe multi-dimension adding this array in an array inside it like i did before you can copy an array depending on the one you want you can create another array inside this place but i just want it to be very simple for you guys then at the same time you know that you can as well refer to numbers here instead of always using this key okay he posted to this this you post to this food you post to this is held equals to this I can as well add my comma by now say 24 is post can give it but or let me give it no it's another data type I hope I'm closing or have I detected the close as with the case so now open is close so I have another one called that if I post to no inside this place so i can as well add another thing depending on your choice i can put it let me know if all these things is gonna work uh, so we're just trying out things you know things that are working at once 40 so 45 we are find that whenever we point at 45 should give us 45 i think please let's add this in a put let us make unnecessary mistakes so now i want to point to point that i cannot comment this one off since i want to bring out age equals to this of me pointing at this age we are seeing here which will give us 25 i can decide to point at age equals to 35 because it's a key which have a value of no this one is a key which has a value of 40 so you can choose any of this key. Now I'm choosing what 35. I can comment off this echo in this next line. Then we'll check. Full refresh. It's complaining of 35. Undefined offset 35. So what do you think is the cause? Who can guess? Who can guess? Who can guess? Who can guess? If you can guess it, I will give you I have an award for you. I have a special gift. So looking at this, we found that we mentioned that we have a key uh, called 35 above. And if you check from this person, variable person, because if you check the variable and now start checking the keys, we have a key called name, which is holding a value called what's not. I have another key called age, holding 25. I have another key called food, holding T. I have another key called is healthy, holding true. We have another one called 34. We have another one called 45. So 34 is holding noon. No, which means what? Nothing. But we are we are calling 35. That means we don't have 35. That's the mistake. We use 34, the one we have, which is this one. And this is what none means what don't display anything on the screen. So we're not expecting to see anything on the screen. So instead of that means where we are supposed to have each. It will clean it up. We will not even know that anything is there. So have my name is Nora. I am. We find that that's not what we're talking of. Instead of showing us an age now, we start see if nothing is even happening in that place. So that's it for you. We can as well make use of this 40. This 45, that's the key. Don't make mistake of using 40. This is the value. Because everything here has been assigned to this guy. Like a normal variable, I taught you guys. So I can add this, save. And when we check, we find that it's picking out what it has, which is 40. This key is bringing out what the value is containing. You can remove this if you wish. For numbers, don't do it for any other a normal thing like string here. For numbers, if you can remove this string, it's your choice. So even if I have this 45 again, and I save, I check, nothing will change. If I refresh my code, it's still there. 
So please thank you so much for watching. God bless you and see you in the next video tutorial.